Hey, fellas, what's up? Uh, some of you reached out to me and asked me how I configure my OBS, or better said, how do I record all my stuff. So um, generally, I use OBS. And to be very frank, if you haven't installed it, I will not tell you how to, how to install it. You have to figure that out by yourself. I mean, there's a ton of videos who are already covering that. But uh, getting to the details, how do I record? So there's actually two setups in mind, how I do recording. Um, one is the setup where I also comment, where you can see myself and, you know, I have the thumbnail and so on. And there is another setup where I just record the game itself. Um, and I will just briefly explain to you how I do it. So generally, I have one scene created where I have everything set up. So this means I have my cut audio, which I kept, capture on a separate track. I will explain in a second why. I have my image, you know, which you can, which you know, on my videos in front of my uh, video capture device. I have my video capture device, uh, which uh, which is my USB here, my camera, which I'm using, uh, and I always capture the full display when I'm doing like full you know, like uh, recording of it. Uh, when you use this, make sure that you have the correct display activated. And I record my mic on a separate audio track. The reason why I do this is sometimes I do have an issue when I use this cut audio capture, or better said this uh, uh, application capture audio only. Um, I get a high pitch when I record it. Like it lasts for maybe like one minute, two minutes or whatever, and then I edit it afterwards. But to avoid any kind of high pitches on my on my audio, like on my voiceover, I have the uh, audio separately inputted here. And how do I accomplish it that I have two tracks? Uh, it's pretty simple. You, As you can see, everything else is, is muted here, right? Uh, but as you see, I have here, when you go on the advanced, I said that my audio capture of the application is on track two and my mic is actually on track one. This way I have like two, drag, two tracks, which are uh, uh, stereo, and I can completely ind independently uh, uh, edit them if I need it. So, you know, maybe do, do some, 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 some enhancement on the voice, maybe lower the, 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 uh, decibel on on the game itself you know sometimes it can be too loud or so on and i also recommend that you use this for streaming if you use it for streaming right so you can always separate it you can even play around and add for example the discord on a separate one maybe you have an audio loop and you put it on the fourth track or wh whatever you like to do but i really strongly recommend that you have it always split the audio otherwise you get a huge mesh uh, and this is my general setup, how I record. Uh, there is a second scene which I'm using, which is called Only Cut. Um, if I would switch now, the camera would shut down, so I will not do that. Uh, so I stay here. Um, the Only Cut is basically consisting only of the audio capture, and I capture instead of the full display, I capture the, uh, the, uh, the game itself. So it would be basically like, you know, I call it now game capture two, doesn't matter. And I would say here, okay, capture specific window, and the window would be called Call of Duty HQ called Exe. Uh, it's you don't see it here because I haven't I, I, I'm not running here uh cod X in the background, but this would it be. And most importantly, when you do it, make sure that you have this one selected so that you know either you match the title uh, of the window or you try to find the same executable. So you know. When Call of Duty decides not to call it anymore Call of Duty HQ, but Call of Duty, you would still be able to record it without providing any kind of adjustments. So this is how I record like only clips. So basically everything else here is removed and I have only game capture and only audio capture. And once again on the audio capture, this is still a beta thing. Be careful, sometimes it's working very, 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 very good. Sometimes it's working terribly. So you, you have to check it, yeah. Um, and this is it, how I do my scenes, right? Um, now let's jump into the settings so that you have an idea what I do in the, in the settings. And most importantly is you need to go to output. Uh, I'm usually only recording, I'm not really streaming, so I will leave this aside. Uh, when it comes to, uh, to, to recording, I record in MP4. And I use, of course, my hardware acceleration, you know, as a video encoder. Uh, I, and you can see here, this, this is really important that you select the tracks that you would like to record. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six tracks. And if you do not select track number two, like in my case, then I would not have any kind of in-game audio. So it's very important that you select the tracks that you also assigned your audio tracks to. Otherwise, you will not hear them afterwards.
Uh, I do not rescale the output, no need for that. And when it comes to the encoder settings, I stay with the constant bitrate, not with the variable bitrate, because I not think, but you know, based on the reviews that I was looking at and so on and so forth, and also based on the testing, you have just more frame drops. Um, and I like to have a bitrate of 35,000, which is a little bit more than what you need for 2K, but not as high as 80,000, you know. So this keeps like the files usually quite okay. So I strongly recommend that you try this one, if not, yeah. Uh, and for the audio settings, put everything to 192. This is what I have. Uh, this is also what my sound card is supporting, so no, no issues on that one. And when you come here to the video, uh, please make sure that you, your base canvas is always matching your your screen size and that your output scaled uh, resolution, or better said, the output resolution is also matching your base re uh, resolution. And of course, leave it with 60 frames, more than 60 frames. It's, don't, you don't need it for, for, for video recording also for streaming um, and that being said this is it this is whole this is the whole setup that i'm using on the obs hope this is helping you guys uh, appreciate that you're asking these kind of questions kind of funny never thought to make it but hey here we are uh, wish you a great day